Welcome back to the Fundamentals of Mechanical Design. Today we've got a quick lesson on the difference between strength and stress. Let's check it out. So oftentimes the failure or survival of our part and our entire design depends on the strength of the design. In contrast, the stress of the design, if that actually goes above the total potential strength of our design, that's where stuff breaks. That's where we get failures. So when we think about the stress and the force analysis that we do to calculate the stress state inside of the material, we can think about how that's actually caused by external forces. Then Newton's third law tells us those external forces have internal reactions, and those internal reactions are then causing our stress state inside of our part or our design. So that material property that's intrinsic to our part, that's putting up with those forces and with those stress states, that has to fight back against those forces and those stress states, that is really the essence of what we want out of our designs. We want strong parts that will fight back. So no matter what stress state they get through, they will not break. <laughs>